can hear a little lamb crying for me. I'm babysitting. I'm coming, I'm coming. So anyways, I'm walking through the pasture right now, heading out to the pond. Well, I'm here at the pond now. Um, you can kind of see it right there. What's up, little buddy? Wanna say hi to all the people on YouTube land? Don't eat it. No, don't eat the camera. See? No? Okay. Whatever. Coming in? Let me shut the gate. Watch out. What was I talking about? Yeah, what am I doing out at the pond? Okay. So, I'm here at the pond. Um, Paul, he used to grow potatoes and who knows what else. All sorts of stuff years ago out here. Well, next to the pond, not in the pond, obviously. But, I mean, he could grow stuff in the pond, but he didn't. Um, he had some trout in there, I think. But, uh, anyways, stay focused, Nick. Um, he's got a cherry tree, a plum tree, some blueberries, stuff like that out here left. Uh, but being that the pond is so far away from the house, which is way over there, it's a bit of a hike to get here. So he had to kind of let, hold on one second. Willow, come here, come here, let's go, come on, back over here. Are you coming? That dog's going to get you. Now I get to hear dog barking in my video. Come on, Willow. Willow, leave the dog alone. Come on. You know better. She's so jealous of the lamb. It's so funny. Um, okay. What was I talking about again? Yeah, whatever. Paul had a bunch of stuff planted out here, and it's it's a long hike to get out here, so he had to let that gar this garden area go. And, uh, put grass seed back down and now it's just getting cut throughout the summer um so next season I'm going to be market gardening and doing like a small little CSA thing let me get the lamb in the camera um, no that's not going to work you just want to eat the camera um I'm going to be doing a CSA thing and probably having I don't know 15 maybe 20 20 members, hopefully. I don't know, I might keep it small and just stick with the 15 this year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to utilize the space that used to be utilized and productive. Um, so, in order to get rid of the grass real easily and without, um, I don't know, without I don't know. Yeah, whatever. In order to get rid of the grass easily, I got tarps. You can see them there. Um, these aren't like actual silage tarps. It's just six mil black plastic from Home Depot. Uh, ideally, that's what you would get is the silage tarps. But I'm saving some money and going this route. It was just cheaper and quicker because I wanted to get these down. Um, so yeah, there's two tarps down. They're both 15 by 50 foot. There's one here, then there's one... I think it's right there. I can't really see on that little camera. Um, but I'll take you over there and show you that anyways. So, these are going to be the new garden beds. Um, I'll have all sorts of stuff. Lettuce, kales cabbages, literally anything you'd see at the market would be growing here. Um, I'll have these two sections and then right there's the wood pile. Right on the other side of that is my garden area and then the parking area. So I'll be using that area, this area, and that one. So, 
it's a good bit of garden space. So I'll be able to produce a lot of food to feed a lot of people, and I'm really excited about that. Um, my dream, my goal, or whatever, is to be a market gardener, farmer, whatever. Uh, and this is like my opportunity to do it small scale and get a taste of what it'll be like. I already know what it'll be like, but it's just really exciting for me. So, yeah. I'm also going to be utilizing the orchard right there. Um, I'll be planting a lot of squash and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like long season crops will go in the orchard. Um, they'll grow under the trees and stuff like that. It'll be fun. Anyways, I've got the tarps down on the garden to kill the grass. Uh, so after like two months of them sitting here, grass will be all dead. It'll be nice weed free section. I'll go through and I'm gonna shovel out one foot wide pathways and make 30 inch beds. Just like you do in a standard market garden. Then, oh, maybe you can, what? Let me tighten that, hold on. Then uh, I'll be sifting some compost from the chickens and wheelbarrowing it all the way over here and then filling up all these beds um, and then planting in the spring. So it'll be exciting. Isn't that right, little lamb? Are you keeping the grass short around the tarp for me so I don't have to cut it? Thank you. So, you saw this area. I'm going to take you over here. Here's a plum tree. Some blueberries that the sheep tore up last summer. Um, big old cherry tree. And then this is the second 15 by 50 foot plot. And then there's the pond. So, yeah. I don't know. Just wanted to document this so we, the end of next summer once everything's all finished and there's a lot of food being pulled out of this little area again it'd be cool to go back and look what it looked like I wish I had a clip of before I stuck the tarps down and I was planning on doing that but I kind of put the tarps down like spur of the moment and it was in the rain so I couldn't really record that but oh well I posted a picture on Instagram of this area it was just grass so if you want to see that you can go and follow me on Instagram at growing back to Eden and like that picture and all my other pictures uh, yeah that's pretty much it so, I'll make another video once the tarp comes up, and once all the grass is dead, and then probably once all the compost is spread. And I think once I get the compost spread and the beds built and everything, I'll put the tarps back on, because that'll, like, the black plastic with the sun heats the soil under it, and, um it germinates the weed seeds and then once they germinate with lack of sun they die and the chicken run compost and that tends to have a decent amount of weed seeds in it because it's in the back of the pasture and the woods and everything else and all the weeds and everything goes to the chickens so there's bound to be a few weed seeds in that so I'll put the plastic back on that'll kill most of the weeds create a somewhat stale seed bed and leave it like that until spring when it comes time to plant uh, so yeah I'll bring you guys along for that stuff but um yeah this is what it looks like now I'm gonna flip the camera Let's see. The fence isn't square, kind of bugs me, but <laughs> doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm going to get uh, some cardboard or just some small pieces of plastic and lay it there 
and then it kind of bows out and then comes back in at some spots so I'll fill all that in um, yeah I'll probably put wood chips along the fence coming in about two feet because the sheep will stick their head through the fence and eat the grass even on this side so that won't be fun if I have plants right up against the fence it just wouldn't work they'd eat my crops so wood chips along the back wood chips in the one foot wide pathways in between the 30 inch beds of compost and it'll be nice isn't that right little lamb come here buddy come here come here come here come on slow moving today come on Come here, Willow. Say bye to everybody on YouTube. Alright. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe. Comment. Do all that fun stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Ask me questions if you got them. Um. Oh, real quick. Sorry. Flip the camera. Um, the live streams with Paul. So that has not been kept up. I apologize for that. I've had a lot going on. Um, hopefully I'll get that going again. Uh, probably not going to be every Thursday like it used to be. Or every other Thursday, whatever it was. Um, maybe like once a month. Just because... I don't know, every Thursday the same questions get asked over and over again, and it's like, what do we talk about? I don't know. Paul and I both were awkward on camera, I think. Um, so, we'll, we'll shoot for once a month. I've still got to figure out what day of the week would be best for that. Um, it'll probably end up being a Monday or Tuesday, since those are the days I have off. I'll keep everybody posted on Instagram because I'm on that a lot more than I am on YouTube. So follow me and then you'll stay up to date. Okay, okay. Peace out. Happy gardening.